you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Michael G, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request. And you are bringing down some Black Sabbath slash Heaven and Hell down the rabbit hole. And the song today is The Devil Cried. Thank you so much, Michael G, for bringing Black Sabbath slash Heaven and Hell down the rabbit hole. I can't wait to get into this. Michael G, thank you so much for bringing The Devil Cried down the rabbit hole for the very first time. I'm really excited to get into this because it is from the Dio era, not mm -hmm. the Aussie era. And so I haven't heard really much of Black Sabbath, let alone the different eras of Black Big Sabbath. Time. I'm really excited to get into this. You also let us know that before it was Black Sabbath with Ozzy, they were called Heaven and after. Hell. Just so you know, it was after. Dio came after Ozzy. Dio came after Ozzy. Yeah. So after Ozzy, they became Heaven and Hell, which is really interesting that they changed their name. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people who or or know of bands who had changed their name in their predecessor, which is why I automatically assumed it was a, a precursor yeah. than an after effect because of how popular Black Sabbath was. No kidding. To right? then become Heaven and Hell, which is in such a, a different contrast, but it's, it's in the same different way. Contrast. Yeah, it's still in the same spirit at least. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really excited to get into this. If you guys are as excited as we are to get into The Devil Cried, then remember to like this video, comment your favorite songs regardless of the era if it is a favorite of the dio era and a favorite of the aussie era let us know in the comment section below and without further ado hit that subscribe and let's get into this all right i'm very excited too because i love both eras heaven and hell is actually a song from dio's heaven and hell i mean heaven and hell is a song from dio's and that's one of my favorites so i've actually mm -hmm. never heard of the devil cried myself i've heard so much black sabbath but not enough of dio's years so i'm very excited to do this thank you so much michael we even checked out the lyrics as well so we kind of understand the full story here and the devil just needs some love i guess here we go you ready here we go. yeah okay No! Some Tony riffs. Lower than I thought it was going to be. So like on a day. so heavy eh they are but they're heavy in like a not heavy kind of yeah, way but it like it's, yeah it's, it's such a contrast it's such a contrast because dio's voice it's it's beautiful his voice is phenomenal and he's not screaming or like this growling legit, it's rock. legit rock he's yeah. got a phenomenal talent with his incredible voice. right um you can hear everything he's saying like um michael you sent us the lyrics and i was like oh well let's le let's read them because i wasn't sure if there was going to be growling or aggressive vocals or anything that would make it difficult to hear the lyrics which can happen yeah which can happen and um 
there was there all you almost didn't need to read the lyrics because of how clear and concise the singing is in this and then Absolutely they have that do. amazing riff that's going on that duh, 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 duh. but then underneath it you yeah. have that like what you were just singing that no 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 and it's just keeps you going that they have so time. much patience and like it's not thrash like this this makes you understand yeah. like when thrash came why it was such a hit because when you're hearing this type of metal because it is pre um, metallica time and all that like you can see yeah. the slowness of it but it's like a build-up it's a gradual it's such a storytelling um type of a song where you can yes. focus on the lyrics more because it is the tempo is not taking you off guard and like it's easy to go with and it's it's nice because if you hear the lyrics it's actually a pretty cool story too it is a pretty cool story and i really like because it's saying there were whispers of someone who lied so well yes the devil sent him back to glory so sent him back out of the burning pits wow eh? so it's like even amongst the sinners there's still Daydream. whispers of a dream that you could get out of this firing pit by because the if you lie if you so well amazingly. if you can deceive the deceiver yeah you will be sent back for your glory yeah which is what insane. kratos does in hell in the game too god war is crazy oh that's crazy yeah there we go <laughs> Still have that jazzy bluesy feel to them too. solo was insane is he becoming one of your favorite guitarists he is yeah yeah he is because he like that solo actually made me want to play you, that solo. you're embodying it even like her air guitaring is getting so much better and it, it does help when you get inspired by someone that you can then imagine how they're playing and he, yeah he's someone that you know is incredibly talented but he doesn't need to flex his muscles so like absolutely that solo is such a bigger contrast when it's not thrashy riffs going into the solo it's such a you can hear the difference in the the brilliance of it because of these slower chuggier riffs that he has throughout it and they're still very melodic extremely they're melodic. extremely yeah. melodic and like so it's it's like you see why they're the goats yeah right they and started it, it all. They started it all, and they did it in a way that inspires you to want to be able to play the guitar and push it to the next level. Yeah. And be able to master something because they're giving you these little tiny tastes, like these little fills, these little riffs, and then going into a solo like that where you can actually have a goal to strive to be able to play that. That's, where yeah. there are some. It feels achievable. It for feels the achievable. Norm. And there, and then it's also just awe dropping that it sounds so good without being so insane. 
Yeah, it's they they remind me of like Opeth and like Opeth Absolutely. doesn't need to be crazy insane mm-hmm. riffs that are just like thrashing but they you can feel every single yeah. note that they hit and I love feeling every note. I I love feeling every note too because it 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 really gets into your soul. It does. Well, we love yeah. this. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can learn this. Oh yeah, I'd love to learn this. Oh hell yeah, y'all. those fade outs that they do wow oh the tail years wow that was insane yeah that was like they black sabbath has so many good songs that that is one that can just slip by because there's just so many eras because even like ozzy comes back and sings and for black sabbath later like recently and made more albums so like they've been going forever and to have Dio and Ozzy make this band a just like so iconic just from the voices, like you said, because yeah. like the voice itself really does help. I'm going to like how they spread around the world is because of mm-hmm. the singers as well as the music, too. But these singers really can push you forward. That's why they have the Dio years itself, because they were that monumental Absolutely. still, too. Well, like because a song like this, um, I grew up in a very Christian community, extremely oh, Christian yeah, community. Yeah. And so uh, having a, um, uh, this genre, Black Sabbath, even I had heard of Black Sabbath, even if I wasn't allowed to listen to yeah. them, because there were lots like of, of the people ones. that this was one of the bands that even could penetrate into those extreme communities. In the mainstream. And into the mainstream because the the lyrics not even the lyrics the lyricist the vocals of it is so digestible and and beautiful beautiful. and there's so much talent in the band that there are people who um i remember um friends of my mom's being like oh you should listen to black sabbath is one of those things that was brought up in conversation and then my mom being like well no like we just don't want to blah 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 because it it is something that once you it is the name of it but once you start listening to this music, it gets into your soul because it is so changing powerful you. and it is a changing experience because yeah. it inspires you to be to then want to play these instruments. It inspires you to have that air guitar yeah. to sing out and, and out dance and move yeah. because yeah. it is such a powerful piece and so, so, much, then, soul and and so much soul and life. And then also having a song about making the devil cry yes. and that like sympathy for the devil aspect. Yes, yes. That's then where you get these groups that are like, no, we can't. We can't have this no matter how beautiful or how talented the music may be. Yes, yes. Because we just we don't want to end up pushing something 
against us. So like growing up in that kind of a community and, and know, still knowing of Black Sabbath because of how intricate their playing is, these guitar riffs, how yeah. the music goes together is very like, um, it, it just shows how good they are, that they're able to penetrate all walls, I guess is what I'm trying to say by it. Of course, and like when they came out, they were game changers and Absolutely. so influential and were able to blend so many genres together to produce this and they put music in the correct way and mm -hmm. music is healing. So like for you to say like you weren't allowed to check this out, I bet it's so refreshing to then finally be able to check out these bands, Absolutely. have the experiences and like get, because it is um encouraging to like, Music is a science, y'all. So when you're mm -hmm. getting, you're not allowed to listen to this music for so long. It's almost like you're not experiencing humans capacity of what they're putting out for art. So like now we're fully able to, I'm so happy Absolutely. you can, because I've been dying to show you these bands. And now that we're doing it, it makes me so happy because I've never heard this song, the devil cried that although I've yeah. heard for decades, I already have been listening to black Sabbath my whole life. So it also encourages me to keep checking them out as well. And Black Sabbath fans, you all are all so supportive of our, of our videos of Black Sabbath as well. So thank you so thank much you for, for that, that too. So Michael, we really appreciate this for bringing this down. If you want to bring more in the future, we're totally okay with that. We hope you guys had a good time with us though. And hit that like button if you did have a good time. Subscribe if you want to be part of the Enter the Chronic family. But we are now shooting out of the rabbit hole, folks. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us. And joining us on our black sabbath journey this has been phenomenal listening to the devil cries definitely makes me want to go watch lucifer because of all that sympathy for the devil yeah. and all the fun that is with black sabbath and this genre i can't wait to see what comes next down the rabbit hole and to see your guys's favorite songs down in the comments peace and love everyone god bless y'all take care and bye for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you all so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you had a good time and you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss the next one, here is a very easy way that you can make it to our next one by hitting the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard on this video and you want to support this artist, then an easy way to do that is going right here. And I think we have a really good video for you right here that we think you will enjoy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.